everybody welcome back to the channel today we're out here at work it's the uh, day before Thanksgiving and uh, as you can see winter has been arriving for a little while now um, we've been throwing some pretty good sawdust today building this holding pin here and uh, we thought we'd show you guys one of our well one of my favorite tools See if we can scrape this mud off of here so you can see that. Uh, I guess you can see it good enough. Log wizard. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this thing is just awesome for uh, peeling logs or uh, shaping in. And uh, we're gonna show you. It's a little dull, but it's throwing some, still throwing some nice shavings, as you can see. This is kind of what you want to see. Gets much less than that, and it's just too dull to cut. But anyways, here we go. Uh, a little side note and give you a little tip on putting some rails up um, if you put the you could put a screw and just barely set it in the post on where the top of the rail is supposed to be set it on top come down here to the uh, corner that you're gonna wrap around you can see this wraps around there and set this one on top of the one that you want to put it on. That way, it's kind of the same height all the way across. Take your saw and just cut her straight down through like that. And it's pretty close to matching up. You can touch up afterwards, but it's about the easiest way to get that cut to look good. So, come along. Okay, that's close enough. <laughs> yeah, uh, so that does pretty good. As you can see, like I said, she's not the sharpest right now. We need to switch the blades out, but you can see how quickly that just whips right through that wood. So look at them shavings. <laughs>
Okay, as you can see, it makes a pretty nice corner. The old log wizard helped us curve around that jack post. Come into this joint a little better, so. Looking good, not the best one ever, but it'll work pretty good. Let's go do another one. So this uh, little video went from showing off our log wizard to all of a sudden we're showing a cool way to wrap a jack fence into just your standard post and pull front. So check it out. It's not too bad. We're not looking for perfection. I mean, because let's face it, you know, um, nothing's perfect, but it looks pretty darn good. It just helps give a nice clean appearance for the customer and or for yourself. But. Uh, now, I guess we got uh, another section of jack to put up. Trim the edges there. Some more, couple gates, yada, yada, yada. The snow's still coming down. It's a beautiful day. Now this happens to be one of my favorite tools. It saves a lot of effort in a lot of different things, especially when we, we know we're peeling posts and stuff. And you only got to do a couple. This is amazing. Um, although Austin here, he he prefers the old draw knife. <laughs> Don't you? Yeah. Yeah, he does. Um, but that's because you know he's got a strong back still. Barely. Barely. Anyways, but uh, you know, consider adding it to your arsenal if you don't have one. It sure is an awesome tool. We use it at least. Uh, I don't know once a week or more depending on what we're doing but we use a lot of fencing and we use a lot of it at home and things but it uh, saves a lot of time it's pretty neat um be safe it can get a little bit a little bucky on you there but uh sure is uh sure is a time saver give it a try if you can well thanks for uh Thanks for joining us today out here at the job site. Um, we're fixing to go have some lunch. And uh, after lunch, we're gonna come back out, finish some of this up and try to go home and get ready for Thanksgiving tomorrow. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Um, hope you have a good, a good weekend and uh, stay dry and warm. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Thank <laughs> you.